Hello everyone, uh, this is my quick review for George R.R. R. Martin's Tough Voyaging. Um, this is a fairly soft sci-fi setting um, following someone called Haviland Tough, hence the Tough Voyaging of the title there. Um, the character himself, uh, Tough, is fairly odd and unusual. Um, Visually, you get a description of him constantly. Uh, it's never different, it's never varied. Um, but as this book is a series of short stories um, written over the years by Martin and then thrown together in a book, uh, it's kind of to be expected. Uh, the problem is, when I went into this, I did not know it was a series of short stories. Um, and that makes it a bit of an issue because uh, at the end of every chapter is the end of a story and there's no kind of compulsion to read the next chapter so I found myself just stopping in between and having breaks um, but back to Toph um, in a world where uh, you can do kind of anything with sci-fi uh, he's a non-meat eater for a start uh, which is fairly irregular to find in sci-fi in my experience um, he vastly dislikes people touching him, um, which is a kind of trait that I shared with Harry Lantoff, so I felt quite compelled to find out more about the character. Um, and then, then again, uh, he loves cats. You see the cat on the cover there, cats are in every story, sometimes multiple cats, many, many cats, cats everywhere. Um, so possibly, if you love cats, this is the sci-fi you've been waiting for. Uh, but yeah, we follow Haviland Tuff as he comes into sole possession of a ship called the Ark, which is a seed ship uh, from the Ecological Engineering Corps. Again, you can see on the cover, uh, and that's like the old Earth ways, and they they reach these vast technological dreamlike levels of technology. Um, but then society collapsed, and they were lost, and everything was lost. Um, but they find this seed ship, uh, he comes to take control of it, and then we go story to story, mostly following completely separate stories. There is, uh, I think there's three stories in amongst these stories that connect and have a common set of characters, um, but mostly it's just Haviland Tough. And um, each chapter is mostly self-contained apart from the ones that link um so at the end of each one i was like well why do i need to read on like because i've just finished the story it's come to a kind of satisfying conclusion so uh, i found myself taking breaks um instead of being compelled to read because it's quite a compelling read uh, the prose is quite good uh the details there uh but this like during reading I was thinking maybe someone could actually read all these chapters backwards uh, and it would still make sense or they could read them totally out of order because they are so self-contained um, which I didn't particularly like you can probably tell that um, and within that in every single chapter certain details are repeated over and over again like uh, how tough looks or what his attitude is or what his mannerisms are it just all gets repeated over and over again which uh, in novel form I found was a bit tiring um, and some of the stories as well the ship being called the Ark um, there was overtones of the Christian religion um, which I didn't particularly care for again it just kind of came up a few too many times and was kind of irritating to me um, but overall, uh, I would recommend this book. It's quite easy to consume sci-fi. Uh, it's not too hardcore. Um, and it's actually, it's got shades of fantasy in there. Shed like, I mean, from George R. R. Martin, maybe he just couldn't quite shift his mental mindset over to sci-fi. Or perhaps this is just what he was going for. But there's elements of fantasy in here that are, um, feel a little awkward like to me but again perfectly readable uh, so I would recommend George R. R. Mann's Tough Voyaging 
especially if you like cats, I think. So that's it, that's all I've got. Farewell.